Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to continue our talk on applications and we're actually be looking at a specialized type of application called um, a mobile app. And so we actually have to run these on a specialized device called, you know, a smartphone or a tablet. So let's jump into the, uh, the slides and we'll start looking at these. So to start with, uh, we're going to be looking at mobile apps and you know, these are just another form of an application, but they have to run on, as I mentioned, a smartphone or a tablet, such as, you know, something like your iPad or, or an Android-based device. So, you know, we have a lot of variety to choose from. So we'll actually look at different um, platforms as well of mobile um, devices and tablets. So really, you've heard the saying before that there are an app for everything. And this kind of does prove it, as you see on the Apple App Store, we have about 1.3 million apps as of September 2014. And Google Play has the same number on August 2014. So you can see that, you know, from this, that really there is an app from every, for everything. 1.3 million apps is a lot. So if you're looking for a specialized application for your tablet or smartphone, more than likely you will be able to find it you know, in the app store for your like device. Um, so what types of apps is we are talking that there is an app for everything. What type of apps can we actually find? So let's actually go and look and see what we can find um, for the types of apps. So if we actually look at it, you can see that we have apps for education, entertainment, you know, productivity, reference, games, music, uh, music and audio. So, you know, you do see that there are a lot of different types of apps and a lot of categories for apps that there isn't just like, you know, an all one encompassing thing. We can find apps for everything. So, you know, that is important to know is that you can go and look for a specialized application in a category if you're looking for something. So keep that in mind. Um, let's look at some of the top free apps that, you know, are available for each of the the platforms. So for the iPad, and this is from MacLife.com. So, and the Android ones are from uh, your PCMag.com. So we'll start with your iPad. So the online desktop is a top free app. And then Paper by 53 is another top one. The Chrome, which is a web browser. And then um, Cosmicology's Comics. And then finally, Facebook. Um, is there, and it's amazing to see that that one comes in as, uh, you know, number five. And Android, it's your Google Hangouts. You have Viber, Text Secure, Red Phone, and Wicker. And it's interesting to see that on the Android side, it's all about um, kind of like texting and communication, where on the iPad side, it's more about um, just like playing and everything. Um, so a little different on the types of apps that are popular on each device. So, you know, just because these are the top free apps, you know, you can find ones that are like it. Um, you can have apps that, you know, you pay for. Um, but I always like to go and look and see what people are using and everything because it gives me an idea. Maybe I should look into this. Maybe I want to download it. And, you know, with it being free, there's no cost. So we can actually easily just download it, try it out, see if we like it. And if we don't like it, we can just easily remove it. And there is no cost because it's free. So that's the, you know, a great part of this. And so kind of moving on, let's um, continue with comparisons between the two um, devices, between iOS and Android OS. So to start with, we can see here that um, we have a nice little table that has a lot of, uh, you know, features and what they are based on for iOS and Android. So. The OS, iOS, as we all know, is based off of Apple's OS X, and Android is actually based off of the Linux operating system. And so customizability as well, with iOS, it's very limited, whereas Android, you can change almost everything. So this is another you know, factor to keep in mind when you want to purchase a device about you know, how customizable do you want it. So are they dependent on a PC or a Mac? Either is not dependent on a type of device, so that's nice. Easy to transfer media. And with iOS, it you know, depends on your desktop application. And Android, because there are so many different types of Android devices out there, it depends on the model. Can you use widgets? Um, iOS is no, and Android OS is yes. Um, 
And that is actually one of my things that I like about Android OS is the ability to use the widgets. And so what do you use to get applications from, for each device? Well, with iOS, you use the Apple App Store. And Android, you can use, uh, there's several where you have the Google Play Store, you have Amazon, and GetJar as well. And so if we look at the market share, iOS has about a 13% for phones of the market share. Android has about 81% of the market share. So that's a very significant market share for you know, phones. But if we look at the tablets, the tablets do differ as you know, iOS has about 87% share and Android has about a 4% share for tablets. So between the phones and tablets, you know, there is a difference. But again, you know, it's up to you what you want to use, what you're comfortable with. You know, just because you know, the market share is one way doesn't mean you have to go with the masses um, as well. So um, there are also different operating systems. We only looked at iOS and Android OS, but we actually have different ones as well that are available that just they're not as popular. So we can jump in and look at those as well. So other ones that we have are your BlackBerry, which you know was a very popular phone several years ago. I would say before Apple came out, but nowadays you're not seeing the BlackBerry as much. You do still see it around, but I would say it's not as popular anymore um, because of the Android-based phones and your iOS-based phones. And as well, you have your Windows-based phones, and you know these are popular Windows, you know, based by backed by Microsoft. So you know you do have the Windows phones. And they are pretty popular. You do see people using them, but you know, market share wise between those two, they don't really um, have a lot of the market share where most of the market share is with your iOS or with um, your Android based operating systems. So moving forward, we can kind of looking again at the market share where our phones, iOS and Android dominate with 94% of the market share and with tablets again, Apple, iOS, and Android dominate with 91%. So you can see that most of the market share is held by these two um, operating systems where there's not much for the others to, to come in and be able to gain some market share. And if you want, you know, you don't need to actually use your um, device to view your apps. You can actually view them online. So if you wish, you know, I'm not going to click on these hyperlinks, but you can actually go to these you know, um, hyperlinks and view these online if you wish to find different apps, you know, using your laptop. So, you know, there's your Google Play Store, there's your Apple App Store, and Windows, and then BlackBerry. So, you know, again, you have these different apps, you have different devices, and they're all different customizable. So you're going to want to find one that works for you. You know, you can look at free apps. I, that's one of the things I love doing is finding free apps and seeing if I like them. Um, you know, don't limit yourself to you know, having to pay for an app. I actually very rarely buy an app because usually if there's an app that's there for a charge, I can usually go and find one that's just as good that's free. So save yourself a little bit of money um, and you know, look and see if you can find an app that is a free app. So keep that in mind and you know, just enjoy your, your mobile devices. It's a great new piece of technology, and you know, we'll see you next time. Thank you.